Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho! Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. Look at the new version of our sign there, pretty proud of it. Thank you again, Alex Prince, for your advice and uh, your work on designing that. Uh, got a, a new coffee cup here. This is the Swords Without Master Cup. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm surprised they make that in frog sizes, so thanks, Epi. And today we have, uh, from Post Serial Games, Jim Pinto. How are you, Jim? Post World Games, Tom. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Tom. I'm good. Po Postman Games? Are you a fan of Kevin Costner? Post World Games, Dr. Tom. Ah! Ah, Post World Games. Excellent. All right, so... So, Jim, you've been running Kickstarters with uh, with some kind of proctology game. No, pro, pro, to, pro I'm sorry. What is the Kickstarter you have going on right now? Proctology, you got it. That was that's it exactly. It's protocol. Protocol. Uh, now you've got a ton of games in here. You can get like 60, 40, or 60 games with with the low low price of something. How yeah, are you doing that? That is absolutely true. You can get something at a low low price. Um, they're they're all short, condensed games. That's uh, they're 12 to 32 pages long each one, um, depending on the format that you receive the PDF in. Um, and so when you want to get a printed version, it's a little more expensive, but the PDF versions are very cheap because they're quick, fast, two-hour games, and I want you to, I want everybody to play them. Well, now, sorry to hop around so much, but I am curious. You have this is the series two. Um, now, Series 1 is already out on Drive-Thru RPG. What's different? Um, there's a few mechanical changes that I made, real minor stuff. I cleaned up the layout. I cleaned up the explanation of the rules, walking people through it, and I added the new series of games are much different from the original series. The first ones were a little more generic, and these ones are getting um, a little more, I don't want to say surreal, but certainly they're, I, they're maybe they're bleeding edge. Ah, bleeding edge. Well, being a doctor, I can help with that. Why don't you walk me through, how does this thing work? If you do it in two hours, I mean, how am I exactly going to level up in two hours, Jim? Um, yeah, you're not going to level up, uh, but that's a good question. What? Yeah, there's no hit points, there's no experience points, there's no leveling up, there's no stats at all. Okay, well, you know, I've got my dice here. I'm ready to play. What do I do? Uh, have you played Fiasco before? Dr. Tom? I have, and it worked out perfectly. Yeah, well then you're you're ready to play Protocol. Where can I learn more about Protocol? Um, well, I'm on, I have my own website. Um, I, the Kickstarter is online, and there's a bunch of explanations. There's a, If you go on YouTube, there's some introductory videos on how to play other people have made. Um, and drive through RPG is where you can download all the PDFs. So there's already 35 games in the series. 35 games. I, I, I don't. I'm a little intimidated by the sheer number of games. What are your top five, Jim? Top five. Um, there's a game called uh, Joan of Arc, which is about saving people on a dying space station. That seems to be everybody's favorite. There's a Chevy Shove Function, which is a strange name, I realize, but it's about children with uh, psionic powers being chased by the government. Um, there's a game called Five Broken Swords, which everybody seems to like. It's a fantasy game. People are on a long quest and they're about to give up because they can't reach the, they can't solve what they're trying to do. Um, everybody seems to like the free one, Holy Diver. That's an homage to Ronnie James Dio. Um, and uh, Ship Lanterns. It's about uh, children in Southeast Asia making wishes. Games about wishes and arcs and, but that that runs the gamut, Jim. What what are you doing? Um, I don't I don't know I don't know how to not make one, Tom. Wow. All right. Well, let's get to something serious here. Jim, I want to know, uh -huh. what's your favorite type of burger? Favorite type of burger? Uh, there's a new place around me called Katsu Burger. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's um, Japanese style. They actually deep fry the burger. Deep fry a burger? That sounds like some kind of 
fair type of deal. That's cra- Have you ever been to a fair where they make like deep fried candy bars? Uh, no, no, Tom. You're missing out. I they think do I get frog legs. I, I think I am. You're probably right. Of course, you know my favorite is deep fried flies, but that's an acquired taste. I've had a deep fried Twinkie before, and that was delicious. I've heard that's divine. Well, Jim, I really appreciate you coming on to talk about the Protocol game series, and the Kickstarter is on live now, right? Until when? When does when does Kickstarter? And how much time do people have left? I think there's two weeks left. I want to say um, maybe a week. I, I I really should know more I, since I'm running it, but that's the best you're going to get out of me right now. All right. Well, I will make sure there is a link in the show notes. Jim, thanks for making some time for us here on the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. Thanks, Dr. Tom. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime. <laughs>